Happy New Year. Did everybody have a good New Year? I think, yeah. You think? <laughs> that could be a bad answer. We had to give away our cousins. You had to give yeah. How many here have made New Year's resolutions? Really? Just Emma Lemon? <laughs> okay. How, really now, how many of you have made New Year's resolutions? Thank you, Peggy. <laughs> Okay, how many of you have ever made New Year's resolutions before? <laughs> how many of you have ever experienced a material change in your life as the result of a resolution you made at New Year's? 
Really? You had one that stuck, huh, Mark? Yeah, I tried to not fight with my brother. Uh, and it worked, huh? Well, he said he ended up fighting it. Oh, it did work. <laughs> made a material change. Just not the one you had planned on. Well, um, I was thinking about New Year's. I've made New Year's resolutions. I don't, I don't know that I've ever stuck with one. Now, I've been led to make resolutions that have stuck, but I don't know that any of them ever occurred on New Year's. But it sure is a fun time to think about those changes in our lives. Uh, uh, I've been thinking about us as a body, and and if I could, if I could wish for us or pick for us a, a New Year's resolution as a, a body. Oh, I'm not on. Please, do I need to start completely over? Okay. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> simply be, and not by virtue of the fact that it's New Year's, but by virtue of the fact that I know that you share my heart and the desire to see God really come alive within our lives as individuals and as a body. And my prayer for us in the coming months would be that we together begin to taste and to experience relationship with God in ways that we've never imagined before. That, and it wouldn't just be about what we decide to do or not to do, but that the Holy Spirit would be poured out in us in such a way as to draw us as a body into a deeper and more abiding walk with our God. And I'm excited about that. In some ways, I, I'm excited about the conversation we're going to have in a few minutes and the message today as it, I think, really begins to set the table for us in some important ways as we look to, okay, what's next? And I'm really excited about the coming months because in two weeks from today, after the message this morning and next week, in two weeks from today, we're going to begin a series on the essentials of the Christian faith. I think it's important that we do so. I think it's important as we as we sort of share in this desire to, to relate with and to experience and to serve God more fully with our lives, that we all have an understanding of what, what, is, what is this faith all about anyway. You know, we talk about it every Sunday, but I thought it might be very good for us to, to sort of stop what we're doing and kind of go back and say, okay, let's begin to put some of this together in a way that gives us each a very clear picture of what is the Christian faith all about. Ultimately, hopefully, helping us to answer that ultimate question, how then should we live? And so I am excited about what's going to start two weeks from now. I would also suggest to you, if you have friends or family that have have been sort of flirting with this faith, with this Christianity, and wondering about it, and maybe even rejecting it because of impressions that they have about what it means, what an opportunity this is going to be to say, hey, would you like to know exactly what it is that we believe in a clear and concise way? Um, come and join us, and, and we'll tell you. And what a, it's a great opportunity to invite someone to say, hey, you want to you come and not, be, not feel like you're caught in the middle of the stream or feel like you're overwhelmed by what's going on in here? You want to know exactly what it is that we believe? Come and join us starting two weeks from today. So I would encourage you to, to pray about that first. God, is there someone that you would have me to invite? And it'd be a really awesome thing if, if God then responded and prompted you and you invited and someone responded to that invitation and came to begin to perhaps for the first time to hear about who this Jesus really is.